Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. We're back with another track builder set from Hot Wheels. You know, I want to build a Hot Wheels racetrack together with my son. And in one of my recent videos, I showed you the fuel can stunt kit. I'll put a link to that video in the description down below. And um, today we will take a look at the corkscrew twist kit. I think in the last video, I forgot to mention what I paid for it. Um, this thing here cost me 20 euros. It was on sale and I think that's a very fair price. I think the original price, I'm not 100% sure, is two or three times higher. So um, yeah, I think once again, fair price. So now let's get right into it and take a quick look at the packaging from the corkscrew twist kit. <clears throat> As you can see here in the corner, it's coming with a fantasy car from Hot Wheels. We take a look at this one in a second. This is what it looks from the side. This is the back side of the packaging. Freeze to frame if you wanna read what's up there. But um, yeah, you can see the parts that are in the box. So that's it. I would say let's get right into the unboxing and crack this thing open. Unfortunately, um, it's not like this uh, fuel can stamp box where you can put the stuff back in. You have to open it like this. I mean, you can keep the cardboard box, but... So here we go. So I think this one or this um, drawing shows you what um, other sets you can get for your racetrack. Um, last time I showed you this one here, if you can stunt box. Um, yeah, let's see if I get some other sets. Um, let's put this to the side. Here we do have the instruction. Now let's take a quick look inside what we got here. I'll do it like this. So I think this is a part of the starting ramp. of um, looping parts or parts of the cork screw. You got a straight track, more looping parts. Yeah. So oops. So um, I would say this is not too exciting. More straight parts. As you can see we got a a lot of parts and um, yeah, and I guess it takes uh, takes some time to assemble this. I'll do this off camera, and I would say see you in a second. And we are back with a new perspective because as you can see this thing is huge. Um, well the assembly um, is quite easy in my opinion. It took me around 15 minutes to put it all together and um, there is only one thing I would complain about. So if you're putting this thing together here it says on this step this part is J and K but um, the real part said um, N and T. 
But um, to be honest, I mean, it's quite obvious how to put this thing together. So in my opinion, there's only one way and I had no problems. So um, here is the fantasy car that came with this set. This is the cane and I would say now comes the funny part. We are starting our test runs. The first car is for sure the fantasy car that came with the set. But as you can see, we got some other Hot Wheels to test this little track or part of a track. And if I'm right, there is one Matchbox car, the Bugatti Divo. So, yeah. Now, let's get right into it. Put the menu to the side and get the chicane into the starting ramp and three, two, one. Yeah, really good. As you can see, um, this by the way is just a plastic box with a jacket in it so that the cars don't uh, fly around the whole basement. Next car we do have is um, the tuned uh, Chevy Silverado. Let's see if this one's working too. Oh, we got a crash. So, um, well, that didn't work out. Next one is the Futurismo. I think this is a Hot Wheels car from these, um, you know, these um, uh, gift packs or how you call them. I ah, forget it. But um, you know what I mean. So the Futurismo is the next one. Three, two, one. This thing did work. Next fantasy car, the Turbine Sublime into the starting ramp. And off we go. Oh, okay, second one that didn't make it, but um, I'm pretty sure this one is a winner. The Donut Drifter. Very good tracker. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, as you can see, the wing doesn't really fit into the starting ramp. Okay, I think that won't work out. So we have to <clears throat> take the next one. Porsche 944 Turbo and oh, I think this one was the best so far. Next one, Japanese car, the Mazda RX-7 in this really nice blue livery. Okay, maybe not enough uh, starting power. So this is the Crescendo, our next competitor, also a fantasy car. Now let's see how this one is doing. Yep, that went well. Then we got the Mercedes-Benz 500E. Uh, I'm not so sure how this one performs on track, but let's see. Yep, <laughs> I, say I expected that. You know, um, normally these uh, fantasy cars, or often they do have the metal base, you know? Most of the licensed models, or yeah, nearly all of the licensed models have a metal base, a metal body and a plastic base. And these um, fantasy cars often do have a metal base and they are very good on track because you know you have a low center of gravity. So this is the last fantasy car. Very good. And the last one, our only, um, is it our only Matchbox car? Yeah, I think. Matchbox car, the Bugatti Divo, also I think not the best one for or to send down a track, but we try. So three, two, one. Oh, okay. I think um, this one's also a little bit um, too wide, but I'm not really sure. Anyways, you can see, I would say this thing works pretty well. And you can have a lot of fun with this thing and I think 
Now it's time to integrate this in uh, a bigger track. And um, I think I'll have a lot of fun with it. So that's it for today's video. If you did like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I say thank you for watching. Happy hunting and see you next time. Bye.